hi guys and welcome back to another motivational videos i know you guys been asking for these videos so i'm here to deliver this is just a quick um motivational cleaning video i'm doing my kitchen because my kitchen was atrocious you guys it's just it was just out of hand and i needed to organize and deep clean this kitchen really really bad don't worry we will have more videos to come with motivational cleaning um, because I do want to get my house situated before the holidays and before my daughter come home. Hey guys, so I thought I was going to unload the dishwasher, but then I noticed that the um, stuff to wash the dishes with did not dissolve. So I'm going to start that loader again and just hand wash the couple of dishes that I have sitting in the sink. You guys, it felt so good to organize this kitchen because it was just a mess. And it was just like that because me and my husband, you know, we go back and forth to see our daughter. And with our everyday life, with him going to work and me working from home, I just haven't had time to clean up. So next I'm going to um, just clear out the stuff on my counter so I can make space for the things in my pantry. The pantry was a hot mess, you guys will see in the next clip. I just had stuff thrown in there everywhere. It was unorganized. Things were just out of order. So we're just going to organize and get things situated. You guys, you see how small my pantry is? Like, it just takes a quick second for it to get unorganized and things just get situated. And it just, when I look at things that's not organized in my own house, it just makes my mind blow. Like, this is ridiculous, you guys. So, I'm just taking everything out, reorganizing it, figuring out where I want to put things, and trying to get a little system going on. You see, my pantry space is a little smaller than the one in Germany. So, we just got to make do with that. of um plates bowls up there i'm just going to take some out and you know just try to organize them just put some out that way i could put all of our plastic spoons and forks all the way at the top so they won't be at the bottom and we're looking for them as question for you guys around the holiday time are you more excited if you have a family or in a relationship versus being single and decorating for the holidays because honestly I feel like now that I have a daughter and now that I'm a mother and a wife I feel like decorating for all the holidays is something I must do <laughs> I can't wait to start decorating for Christmas but of course I have to deep clean my house first because Y'all just don't understand how messy this house is. But I can't wait for that. So comment down below if you like decorating for the holidays better now that you're a mom or a dad. <laughs> if there are males watching this. And now that you have a little family or a significant other that you live with. Through the wastelands, through the highways. Till my shadow turns to sun rays. And Separating everything from my seasonings, the sauce, canned goods, the mashed potatoes, the rice, anything in the box, <laughs> and my baking supplies. So my baking supplies is actually going, it's not going in the pantry, they're going somewhere else. That way I um, have easy access to them. And they're not in the same place as my everyday seasonings. So 
here is everything all organized. I have my boxes, <laughs> the oils, the canned goods, the seasonings, and my baking supplies. So now what I'm going to do is figure out where I want everything to go and then put them in their designated spots. Down here on the floor, I'm showing you guys the um, extras. We have extra cups, plates, and bowls. I'm just going to put them down at the bottom or either in our laundry room. That way they're out of the way. Now I'm just going in organizing everything how I want it. And it looks so much better. I wish I would have done this when we first moved in. But when we first moved in, we just got stuff that night and we were tired. So we were just, just throwing things in the pantry any old kind of way. But it feels so good to have a system and have certain things on certain shelves. Our seasonings are in this little thing I have on the door. Um, that you would get from Walmart or I believe I got it from either Home Depot or Lowe's. this is the finished result and how my pantry look is so organized now everything is not all over the place or piled on top of each other now we're just gonna focus on the mess <laughs> on our countertops and just get that situated and organized so in this video i am showing you guys the products i am using i'm trying to link everything down below you know just putting my baking goods in their designated spots uh, I think I did show you guys that I love using the Mrs. Myers. Um, I think it's Iowa scent in this video, but I was running out. But no worries. I ordered some more Amazon, and they're here. They, I will be using them in the next um, cleaning video.
you guys. So let's move over to the stove. Um, off the top of my head, I can't think of the name of it, but I will link it down below. It has a really strong smell to it. It smells like pneumonia. So if you're using this, I want you guys to please open up a window or your doors or whatever. Have some um, really good ventilation going in. I kept it on for maybe an hour, maybe two hours because um, my oven was self-cleaning this stuff for like three hours. So, yeah, leave it on for a long time. Let it turn. I believe it turns purple once it's done and ready to be wiped off. You can get like a little blade or even a coin to scrape off. <laughs> Now, as you guys can see, I'm just putting the dishes up. Now I can unload the dishwasher and put everything where they need to go. If they still have some um, moisture on it from the dishwasher, I do go in and wipe it down with the paper towel. Just so it won't leave no residue on your dishes. <music> I'm showing you guys my knife, my little knife set that I got from Amazon. They were cute and they went, my, went with my aesthetics in the kitchen. My colors are black and rose gold or copper. I will link this down below, you guys. I thought it was just going to be like a cheap little, nice, cute little <laughs> um, knife set. But they are really, really sharp. So be careful. If you're looking for some nice, affordable um, kitchen knives, I will show you guys. I will link it down below for you guys. Now, back to the stove. <laughs> I am just spraying it down with the Mr. Clean, the lavender scent. Like I said, I will link everything down below for you guys. As you can see, my stove was a mess. And the inside of my oven is a mess too. <laughs> Alright you guys, so now it's time for me to disinfect my sink. I'm using some Clorox bleach, the Mr. Clean, the lavender scent, vinegar, and salt. Those are the best things you can use. Oh, and if you do have some lemon or lime on hand, use those to just scrub the inside of your um, sink with the salt. It's really, really good. <music> Now it's time to mop the floor. You guys, I have a new super jet and I love this one so much better than the other one that I've been using. This one has a little thing that you put in the back of the super jet and you can spray as you go. See, I know sometimes when you use the other super jet that I've been using, the little pads can dry out really, really fast in this way. This one, 
It actually allows you to keep going like an extra mop, but don't have to deal with the mess that the mop dry um, brings in the bacteria. But you guys, this is it. This is the ending of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm sorry this one wasn't as detailed, but the next one will most definitely be because like I said, I have a lot of surface to clean.